do. If you can see it here, I'm gonna start here on this trailhead you are here. I'm gonna follow this line all the way down to the bridge. And then I'm gonna come about, that's about seven to eight miles. And then four miles up to this part. And then I come up the Bright Angel Trail all the way up this way. Here's where it gets real steep and comes up. It's about 20 miles altogether. So I'm starting. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. No, what time is it? 7 o'clock. This, this thing is two hours behind. Oh, it even says p.m. This is totally wrong. It's, uh, maybe I'll fix it later. But you can see part of the trail. You see somebody down there. Yeah. They're just cruising along. All right, here we go. <laughs> There's no guardrail or nothing. You just walk along. And it's just... A That's all I need. I decided to go on this whole trip. And then for just because of the stupid video camera. And then it dies on me. But so far it's okay. Look at this. See, here's my foot. Alright, just wanted to show you what the trail would look like. I just started. I'll turn on later, maybe in about an hour or so. CNN, signing off. And uh, here's the trail. Um, clips, I'll have to do short ones. You can see that's the trail over there. Oh, here. Um, anyway, down there is the trail. I think it keeps going down to that point right over there. And then I need to, hey, comes another solo hiker. <laughs> so green. I know it is. I was passed by a solo hiker. They only go to this point, right? I think that shed right down there, and then they come back. Or some people, they go and they somehow there's a trail that goes over to the... See, that's that trail I, I, I did yesterday, Indian Garden Trail. Um, right behind there is the Bright Angel Trail. It comes up from the bottom. Uh, you can't You can't tell from here. And then... See, that's where I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to go down this one, go down to the river. You can't see the river from here. It's down inside there. And pick that other one up and come up. Alrighty, here we go. That's the top where I came down from. Look at all these different layers. They say the top layer, the white layer, is from millions of years ago when the earth was covered with water and those are all the sea life, marine life. Now these red layers, I don't know what this is. There's all these different layers in the earth. There's that Indian Garden Trail again, all the way over there. There's a hermit trail, they call it. You see this trail right here? That's where some people, some people are behind me. They got off the bus. They're gonna go down on that trail. They're still walking down. I don't see too many people on this trail. Last year in the summer, there was pretty many. You know, they go down to this, that shelter I showed you and they come back. Look at this thing. I like this view. Big view. This is a canyon. All this was by a river. Can you believe that? All right, got a lot more to go. See us. Doing this. Okay, still walking. Hey, you can see the river from this turn here. It's really dirty. I remember last year it was green, but you couldn't see through it. But it was just green. Oh, it's getting windy here. 
And then over here, look at the horses down here. People are coming up. Oh, there's nobody even on there. Oh, they're just taking people's stuff up. Uh, who knows what they're taking. See, there's a ranch all the way at the bottom. And people who do hike all the way down, they camp at the bottom. You have to get a permit. It usually takes weeks to get it, though. Right. Look how much, how steep this goes. It goes down the zigzag path. It's uh, a little after 8 o'clock and it's kind of cool out. It's like 75 degrees. It's not bad. The wind's blowing. It's keeping me cool. I think the reason why I ran most of it last year, I don't know. Uh, it was like 90 degrees and it was only 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 or 8. So that was part of the reason why I ran all the way down. Uh, but this is the easy part, coming downhill. See a little snow up on those mountains? Grand Canyon. Whatever it looks like it's overflowing. Oh, that's probably why it's brown. All from the snow, the melt off in the springs running into it. Right there, I think that's called Cedar Creek and there's a tree. This is what I wanted to do. I thought I was going to be able to do. Uh, there, that creek right there. That trail goes to the north of the canyon. North Rim, they call it. I'm on the south side, but they won't let you go. It's not open till mid-May because there's supposed to be a lot of snow up there. I don't know. I can't see it from here, but I guess somewhere on the path they say it's up. It's three feet right now. So that's why the river is dirty because of all, and that's how it cuts the canyon. All the rain and the and the fall off and this kind of rock. I guess it's easy. It gets grinded away easily and. And the river just keeps cutting it. All right, time to move on. Hey, a bunch of horses just passed me. See all these guys? I can hear the river now. There it is down here. I don't want to walk too close because I'm close to a cliff. But I'm almost there, getting there. I'm walking pretty fast. I passed a couple people already. Uh, this is almost the middle of the Grand Canyon. The river's in the middle. Five miles on each side. Mm -hmm. You can see the path. It goes over this way. See it? And then it comes down. Goes around. Probably keeps going down. Then I go down to the river and I have to cross a bridge. And then that looks like the trail. See the trail down there? I walk for four miles along the river down there and then I come up the Bright Angel Path I showed you before. Got all these colors down here. That's the other path I was telling you about, Cedar Creek. I wanted to go over here and go up this trail. It's ten miles, it goes to the top. But they say it's closed. Oh well. There's always next time. Still walking. I'm in the shade here. It's almost near the bottom. Oh, my battery's about to die because this stupid thing was on inside the bag. Oh well. Trail still keeps going down there. We're almost there. To the bottom anyway. The bridge. Yeah, who? All right, I'm shutting off. Anyway, I switched again. The battery died. I put another one in. Anyway, there's the bridge, and then there's the path behind it, and you run around over here. Last time, I went to that beach there, and I, I swam in the Colorado River, and it is freezing. I'm not gonna do it today because it's not, it's not hot out today. 
and then I rested there for about 10 minutes, ate orange and a sandwich, and then I kept going. Again, it goes along the river. Okay, CNN signing off across the Colorado River. I think I'll film this part. So that means I'm at the bottom. Finally. But that was the easy part. This thing is really flooded big time. Last time I was here, I was on that beach. I think the water was, you know, like in more, like 50 yards. Yep. How did they get all this stuff down here back then? All these horses, maybe helicopters. If they had them back then, I don't think they did. They just used a thousand horses. Well. Hey look, there's rafters coming down. And let me look from over here. Matter with this stupid camera. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to do that. All right. CNN signing off. Look, there's uh, walls here. Somebody they used to live here long ago, 800 years ago. The Ananzo Indians. It tells you about them. Right here. Nanzo Pueblo. Pueblo means home. See that? Okay. That bridge I just uh, crossed. They were carried down by men on their shoulders. How about that? That's trooping. CNN. First bridge. See, that's the first one I just crossed. And because there's like a ranch back there for the horses and then past more there's a campsite where the people, you know, they stay overnight. And then this bridge. Oh, big rocks out there. Big round ones. That's the trail. It just goes and goes. Goes all the way down here. Alright, we're out of here. We go in the river yet. This looks like a really nice view. Still trucking. It's not too hot, it's about 80. But it's a big workout going uphill. Sure is easy going down. There's the trail I was just walking on. Comes up here. There's some people there. I gotta go. I guess where the trees are. It goes anyway, this is what the view looks like.
you have to come up this way than the other trail I came down because there's shade here. I mean, just this little rock is <laughs> shade. Things like this. The other trail didn't have it. All right, to the top. CNN. So hot in the summer. I was like about here, it was like 115 degrees. Now there's clouds in the sky. This is easy. Just sweating a lot and breathing, but when I seen the sign, I looked just like that guy. <laughs> I walked right by him holding my head. It was so hot, but not this year. So this is the time to come in the spring or the fall. Not the summer, that's for sure. Okay, CNN. Red rocks and then the white ones. And I think that's it. Still maybe three miles, I think it is. I was coming up this trail. There's, remember, I was filming yesterday, or even a little bit today, I showed you the Indian Garden Trail. That's it down there. And where all those trees are, that's the intersection where the Bright Angel goes. Down to the right, through that little cavern. You can see that crevice there. Down inside there it goes. And it comes up this way. I remember last year, and when I was coming up here, man, it was so hot, I rested in here. I remember that for like a half hour. I was just like, came off the trail and rested. Not this time, though. I'm just pumping along. Still resting once in a while, but nothing like before. Okay, see ya then. I came to the top, and I hope you people appreciate. There's my buddy, I walked with him a little bit. <laughs> There's the lodge, it's pretty much at the top. So, that was a hell of a trip. It's now 2.12. So it's been seven hours. No, five, yeah, seven hours since I, since the bottom. Let me, you can see people up here. It's pretty much the top already. Hey, that is the top. Let me pause it for the top. Man, it's windy up here. All right. There's the tippity top. That's the Bright Angel Trail. <laughs> <laughs> 